Four years ago, we launched Generation Zero. And since then, players have been waging guerrilla warfare against the hostile machines that have taken over our version of 1980s Sweden. So to celebrate that, we wanted to share some of the stories from the past four years of Generation Zero. I'm Zach, I'm the product owner on Generation Zero and have been for about two years now. My name is Emil Kaftling, I'm the creative director for Systemic Reaction. I was also the game director on Generation Zero when it launched. My name is Sarah St. Pierre. I am the executive producer for Generation Zero. During development, it was a really hot summer and our air conditioning broke in the office. So if you can imagine 20 odd game developers, each in tiny shorts and t-shirts, that's a pretty accurate picture of how the game was developed in that summer. We did so many like research trips. Uh, we're based in Sweden, the game is based in Sweden, so we rented a car and went out in the country. We filmed a bunch of locations. We went to an actual bunker, took tons of pictures in it. When I first joined the project, uh, I think that's when I first realized players were doing what they called the Swedish space program, where they take as many gas canisters as they can and surround themselves with it and blow themselves into space. Before we launched the game, we had a beta, and the beta had locked off the first part of the world. If you moved out of it, we teleported you back in 10 seconds. We have these things called field radios, which is basically spawn points. Some of the community members realized, and they went to the edge of this island, and they put down a bunch of explosives, and they blew themselves over to the other part, and then they had 10 seconds to bring out a field radio, drop it, and then they were teleported back, and then they fast traveled to it, and they ran for 10 seconds and dropped another one. That really told us, okay, this is gonna be a fantastic and persistent community that's gonna do some crazy stuff. I can vividly remember the first time that I played Generation Zero after its launch. First hearing a tank and then first seeing the tank was just monstrous chaos, madness and mess. We had no ammo, ran away. We are not the guerrilla tactical fighters that we were intending to be at all. Oh goodness me, no, we did not survive, I think. <laughs> Every time I boot the game, I really shouldn't survive. The game is so hard, but I love it that way. There are so many Easter eggs in the game. We love Easter eggs. There's only one Easter egg that I've added myself. I shouldn't say what it is. I know some people have found one of our more narrative-focused designers has uh, put a likeness of herself in the game somewhere for players to find. Of course, many of the memorable moments come from playing together. We're usually four people, so we fill up the four slots. This particular time, one of our producers were ill, so he couldn't join. So as we were playing and talking about the development, just a random person from, from the community joined and started playing with us. Eventually, he started talking to us like, yeah, okay, I've, I've played you know, 20 hours. How much have you played? And I said, well, I played 600 hours. And he said, what? <laughs> uh, so we told him, yeah, we're actually the developers. Uh, and he was really excited. I hoped it was his best session. The team really wants to engage with the community and try to you know, build, build the future of the game together. We have a really dedicated community. There's nothing more motivating than having people want to play the thing that you enjoy making. Like after 16 years of making video games for people, it's still the biggest driver that people want to play the games that you're making. It's so flattering. We have like dedicated community members, data mining like the 3D uh, models and assets of the enemies and 3D printing them, painting them. Fantastic creations, it's amazing. I just blown away by uh, the excitement and the sort of creativity in the community. It's, like, it's such a fantastic community. We're really happy to have it.